Well, here we go again. And today what we're doing is we, I think we've got about all we can haul into the elevator hauled. We've been going for, I don't know, we've been, going, we've been in corn now for, I don't know, I've lost track. A few days, two, three, four days, I don't know. Anyway, today we are starting out, hold on here, I gotta see if anybody's coming down the road, but um, today we're starting out going right, and you can't see it from here, but right, right over there. A little 40 acre, it's an 80 acre field, there's 40 acres of corn, and we're gonna haul that there corn up to the bin site that's up over that little hill there. Or no, we're not hauling that there. We're hauling that to town. That 40 acres is going to town. Then we're going, I don't know where we're going after that. Somewhere right around here, I assume. And we're going to haul that into our bin site up there. I don't think we're going to haul anything to that bin site today. But you never know. And then tonight, there's a pretty good chance of rain. I think they're saying almost 100% chance of rain tonight. Looks like we could get, could get a uh, half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch total which would probably keep us out of the field tomorrow. And then tomorrow, it was supposed to rain late tonight, like early, early morning, like three, four o'clock in the morning. Anyway, got called on the radio right there too. But uh, anyway, there's a chance of rain early tomorrow morning into tomorrow morning. And then they say, depending on the atmosphere, how it recovers from those storms, uh, may get some severe weather tomorrow afternoon or it may not do anything at all so so it sounds like probably get a day off tomorrow at least and then I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure what's going on after that so anyway right up here is where I'm going and I need to go to the north end the far end of that field I guess so I'll catch up with you here in just a little bit and I do apologize my windows are a little bit dirty especially the side windows and the back window we uh, we were out and it wasn't really raining, it was sprinkling. Well, yesterday and the day before a little bit off and on and they got, they got a little dirty. Anyway, just getting down to this end, we're just getting started here. Dad just took off with a with a uh, with a wagon load of corn. And we're getting this headland off down here. So I'm just gonna wait down here and when the combine gets full. Start filling my wagon.
road into town. And this is not gonna take very long at all. Headlands are off. I already broke through once here. I just heard he's gonna break through again and uh, get these lands worked out. Couple hours, approximately, we'll, we'll have this knocked out of here. Now we used to put all the grain from this farm, it would be like all corn. Um, used to put it in that bin. Haven't used that bin in a long time. I believe what, I think the floor is bad in it or something like that. I can remember when that bin was built, I was just a little kid. And I'm not sure, I would have to ask my dad, I think this was the first farm that he actually bought. We used to live just right across the road right over here. There was a, there was a house and a corn crib and a barn and all kinds of stuff over there. Chicken house, I can't remember everything. But uh, we used to live there and then that farm got sold. Some guy in Florida bought it, I believe. And, Back then, let's see, this, that was in the uh, late 70s, and he wanted $500 a month rent for that house, which as I remember, it wasn't that bad of a house, but I don't think it was all that great. I know it didn't have any insulation in the walls. Um, I, I, I know Dad didn't think a whole lot of it, but me as a kid, it was, you know, that's where I grew up, so. Anyway, we don't put anything in that bin anymore. It hasn't been used in a long, long time. I can remember riding my bicycle around the, the concrete when it got poured there. But uh, just, just a little something, something there for you. You can see him got a bald eagle up here circling around. I don't know if he's got a critter down there somewhere he's gonna pounce on or what, but there were a couple hawks out here flying around. I guess well, one was kind of chasing him, my dad saw them. I can't even see him on my viewfinder. I'm not sure if you can or not. But I don't know. See if he see if he gets some lunch. Well we got down with that field and I made a little pit stop here at home. And uh now we're heading, yeah, you know, it's right, right over there, about a mile away, and hauling about a mile across the field over that way. So, get back out there. I'm starting to wonder if we're gonna get much rain at night. I just looked real quick at the National, ugh, National Weather Service forecast. I don't know, it still looks like we could get Wagon. Half inch or so. Well, I've just kind of forgotten to hit the record button on the camera here lately. And the sun's starting to go down. And it's starting to get dark off that way. I do believe it's going to rain tonight. So we'll head into this bin site up here. I'll kind of show you what we do in there right now anyway. And uh, how things work a little bit. I don't know how many more loads we have to go in there. Not very many. It'll only hold right now maybe six six or seven into the into the wet bin. I'll, I'll explain that here in just, just a second. And here we are at the old bin site. Kind of hard to do this holding my camera and pulling in here. Can't adjust the throttle and turn at the same time. We do have a set of scales here. Those little platforms you see on that, we actually had to make those because when we built that scale, the wagons were a little bit smaller and these are too wide for the scale. Hardly ever weigh anything anymore. Just, uh, actually just one 
well, I guess technically two fuels that we would weigh. And I needed a little more oomph to get on there. Hold on. There we go. Let's go get this wagon unloaded. to the office we go. go much longer I just climbed up on that bin and it's one ring one ring down a couple more loads will well you might get might get three three or four more loads in that I just I just don't know well my dad just got hold of me on the radio and told me if I want to quit I might as well being that him and my uncle are out there with two tractors and wagons and and that bin may not hold much more than that we're we're gonna be quitting anyway. Yeah. Don't really need three. So anyway, anyway, I'm I'm done for the night. And I believe it's going to rain, so tomorrow I should have a day off. I gotta slow this thing down. The car behind me gotta make sure. And there's a car behind me, gotta make sure that they don't try to pass. Got the green truck sitting over there. Alrighty, let's go home. I think I got everything out of there. And I see my battery is, no, never mind. That's just a red recording thing. Uh, make sure that door's shut. Wouldn't hurt if that thing got rained on and wash it off, but we'll go jump in the truck. She needs washed off too. She's really dusty, dirty. And I'm gonna go home and uh, figure out what we're doing for supper.
anyway guys that's going to do it for this video we'll be out in the field again and, and i'll do a little more explaining what goes on around the bins especially at, at that bin site up there so anyway if you would give this video a big old thumbs up comments go down below subscribe if you haven't already hit that little notification bell so you always know when i upload a video and we'll catch you next time bye bye